Welcome to a new YouTube video. My name is BNC and in this video I'm going to tell you about our newest tool on Smart City Society named the AI Floor Price Predictor. This is the newest tool that we've added last week and there's many users that's already used it. And in this video I'm going to give you an introduction about how this tool actually works and how you can benefit most out of it and what are some downfalls that you have to watch out for. Um, so yeah, we're going to look into a couple of collections in this video. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So first off, um, we're starting with Quantum Traders. At what these collections exactly do in the Collection Insights page, where we're at right now, and how this confirms to the AI floor price predictor, and yeah, how we can see some correlations between these two projects. Um, so, as you can see here in the dashboards, we see that the line of floor price is pretty steady over the last seven days and the listed count has been quite steady as well, except for the last two days. So the last two days you see that actually the listed count is going up a bit and that the mentions is actually going down. So there's less mentions and the listing counts are going up, this, this could be a bearish bearish signal um, and if we look here for example at the daily mentions you can also see that the dimension count is slowly decreasing over the last three days um, so yeah let's see what the AI floor price predictor says about this so let's have a look about there so it's here on the left side if you go to data analytics you can see the AI floor price predictor uh, once you click on there in the left top corner you can type in quantum traders so let's have a look you see the history price and after this line you see where the prediction starts of the AI floor price predictor. So as you can see, you can see a line where the prediction is. So it says here for example 7.75 sol and then there is an upper and a lower bound. So this is where actually like the reach can be for the floor price. So when the upper and the lower bound are really close to the prediction, the prediction is more precise and says it has a more precise prediction about it and when the upper and lower bound is quite far from the prediction lines you can actually suggest that okay maybe this prediction is less reliable than if the upper and lower bound were closer to the prediction line um, so as you can see here the upper and closer of the upper and lower line are going out further and further and further and as you can also see is that the prediction is actually going lower so the prediction that our AI floor price predictor makes is actually kind of similar as what we thought it would be if we have looked, for example, in, in the collections insight. And as you see below, here's the expected index and where you can see if it's bearish or bullish. Um, right now it's quite in the middle, um, but it's towards, it's slightly towards the bearish side. And as you can see, it's minus 4.83%, which means 4.83% bearish. Um, so yeah, this is actually an indicator that you might want to sell your uh, quantum traders. So that's the first collection. Let's go into another one um, and let's see how we can use how we can find collections in the collections inside, which could be useful to find in our AF floor price predictor. Um, so what I always do is I just go down here to our table, and what I for example do is okay, let's see the last 24 hours. Um, which project had like a lot of mentions. So we put mentions on top and then there is always some projects that always have like a lot of attention. Um, for example, Digos, Primates, Magic Ticket, which is actually Magic Eden on Twitter, um, which are really great projects. However, these are not projects that would do an X2 or X3 in a short amount of time. Um, so what we actually looking for is some smaller projects, for example, like Infected Mob that I see right down here. Um, we click on it and we're going to have a look at the table. So as you can see right here, um, Infected Mob has actually made quite a jump a couple of days ago on August 5th. And as you can see, listed count went down. The Mentions count went up a lot and the velocity went up a lot as well. Um, this is very bullish of course, you can see it also back in our floor price. You can see that the floor price increased from 2.65 to 3.65 which is well over 33%.
And this is actually going pretty steadily for the last couple of days. So you see some increases in mentions. And then what I see right over here is quite an increase in mentions and also quite a bit of volume. However, the listed count and the floor price stays quite the same. So it's quite hard to say if it's going to be bullish or be bearish. Um, so let's see what our AI floor price predictor says about it. All right, if we see here, um, we can see that actually our AI floor price predictor says that our inf that the infected mob collection is more bullish than bearish. And you can also see that here in the chart. Um, you can see it going down first, going up a bit. And then the prediction for the next two days is going up a bit. It's not super significantly, but it's still going up. And if also if you have a look down here in the expected index, you can also see that it's more towards bullish than towards bearish. So it might be a good one to invest in. Um, the AI floor price predictor. So let's go back to the collections insights to find some more collections that we can go through. So when we go down here again, I'm going to show you once more how you can search for some projects that might be doing good in the future. Um, so what we did before was putting it on 24 hours and looked for mentions. Um, but what you can also do is just sample look at the change in listed count. So if you go, for example, to a change in three hours uh, and then you put listed count on top and you see those had, had the most decline in listed in the last three hours. Um, so these could be good to look at too. Uh, what you could also do is look at 24 hours, um, maybe change in volume for the last three hours. Um, you also have to make sure that those are like projects that have, actually have volume because if they go from zero to like 60, um, this is actually not really a big change. Um, so those are things that you can actually look into. So if you search for collections that you actually want to see on the AI floor price predictor, um, those are the options that you have to look into the AI floor price predictor. Um, but I have some other examples that we go into. Um, so the first one is going to be uh, Day Casino. Uh, you guys might actually know of it. And when you look at it, it actually has quite a good chart. Here you go, let's put this on seven days. Excuse me. So let's have a look at the chart here. As you can see over the last few days, it had quite some drops in list counts and quite a huge increase in floor price as well. Um, so what we actually saw happen on the 6th of August was quite a decrease in list count, an increase of some mentions as well, and a lot of volume at the time which at that time showed us a huge increase in floor price. And what is interesting at this moment, it is actually happening again. So you see the list count going down and you actually see across the floor price, which is really bullish. Um, so this might be something that you're on your way to a new project that you can might invest into. But first off, let's have a look at the AI floor price predictor. So we go to the AFO price predictor again, we keep in the casino. And as we can see right here, the chart is actually looking not that good. And the reason for this is that for example, the mentions weren't so high. So this is something that the AI for price predictor could have taken into account. Uh, and next to that, the AI for price predictor also takes into account, for example, the market, the current market, how all our collections are doing and way more other reference points that they are using to calculate the prediction. But you might be interested to still buy this because the collection insights are looking pretty good for the casinos. So my suggestion to you is really use the AI floor price predictor to have like a feeling of what might could happen to the market, but never overestimate the AI floor price predictor. Always look at the collection insights. And if you still don't know how to do this, we have lots of videos showing you how to properly look at these charts and how to find collections that might be good to invest in. So let's have a look at two more collections. Um, I'll be going through it a little bit faster than the previous collections. Um, so the next one is going to be DJ and Games. And I've actually found this because the listed count were increasing, decreasing a lot over the last three hours. So the chart looks actually really bullish for the last couple of hours. Uh, the listed count 
dropped a lot, dimensions went up as well. And if we compare this with the AI floor price predictor, I might suggest that the AI floor price predictor says that this one is still going up because we have no sign yet that this floor price will start stopping. So let's see what the AI floor price predictor says about this one. So we go to DJ and games. And as I already expected, is that the floor price is going up and it's going to be really bullish. So it's going up and this might be a collection that you might want to invest to or look into as well. Um, always be sure to check out the collection insights on the time that you are buying. Um, so yeah, this one could be actually something that I would buy into at the moment. So let's have a look at the final collection. Um, so I have one more collection that we're going to look into. And this one is actually called Nerdy Ape Hub. And as you can see in the charts, it's also been quite promising for the last few days. Mention counts went way up over the last few days. Listed count decreased and seems like it's kind of like stagnating a little bit. So it might be that the floor price has increased right now, but can be staggering right now. So I would say that it would go up or it would stay the same. So let's see what the AF price predictor says about this one. So we go to Nerdy Ape Hub and see what it's going to do. So as I already thought, the line is going up, but not as high as you want it to go. So this is really it for today. Um, I've showed you how to use the AI floor price predictor. It's really important to remember that you don't always follow what the AI floor price predictor says. So when it says it is really, really going to be bullish, always check the collection insights if it match what the AI for price predictor says. Always do your own research, look at, for example, the last tweets they've made, and don't just buy into any project that you think might be good because the AI for price predictor says so. But overall, the AI for price predictor can be really helpful and can give you a little bit more information about what a project might do in the future because it already includes so many valuable variables that you can use so that you can make more and better predictions. All right, see you at the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a like, and I hope to see you next week with another video.